Hi, this is Kang, and today let's uh, sh uh talk about product content. Okay, how do you make your products stand out among all the competition in e-commerce, especially in Lazada? Okay, so uh, you see, right? Uh, just just take example of here. Okay, one of the things on Flash. So they have a very good content. They have description. They have image, and very very nicely done. So how do you stand out from the crowd? Okay, to um make customers really want to buy from you. Okay, so let's uh go to the topic today, which is what are the best practices for making product content for your products. So today I'm gonna share with you the ten most important practices that will make your product content good and will lead more views and more visitors and more conversion to your product. So before I proceed, let me introduce myself. I am Kong, your Lazada certified trainer and your e-commerce coach. So I've been selling in Lazada for and Shopee uh, since 2015 and I have picked up a lot of experience along the way. So I would love to share with you my experiences in selling online. Okay, and I have I uh, have many students that I have uh helped to increase their sales. Okay, some of them are are purely new beginners. Some of them are are uh, businesses to and they grow. I have helped them to grow their online sales. Okay, in Lazada and Shopee. So if you would like me to help you also, okay, click on the link below. You can go into my website www.compreneur.com. So first, to make the best content score, you go to Lazada Seller Center, Products, and you press Add Products. Then you'll come to this screen where you can put in your product name, which is your product titles. Okay, so your product name needs to be a good name, okay, a good title. And then uh, it can be easily found by customers when they search for the product, okay? And then the product category need also to be correct. Don't put in the wrong category and uh, make sure everything uh, that you have checked. Okay. And then after that, you always categorize your products so that your customers can find you properly and then you will be in the algorithm itself. Okay. So for example, okay, you can see here what you do is uh, then you scroll down. You can see that uh, you can put in your brand, okay? You need to put in the correct brand by putting, uh, let's say, uh, uh, Apple or whatever. And then if the brand, if it's not in the list, okay, you just have to click no brand, okay? Or if you're a brand owner, you can actually can request for your own brand to be listed, okay? And then, of course, the model of the product, let's say that you're selling some electronics, you need to put in the correct model so that uh, people can search you properly. Uh, okay. And then you will come to this. This is called the description. Okay. In description, you always need to put in the correct description that will give all the useful information, okay, to the customer when they want to purchase the product. So all the useful information is correct and uh, to presented to the customer. Okay. There is also rich text and also lorry kit. Lorry kit is actually a tool for you to decorate your description. Okay. To make it more attractive to attract more customers. So if you press lorry kit, you'll come into this screen. Okay. Where you can put images, can put text. You can adjust the size of the images. You can put two images together or more images and you can even uh, put alongside each other. And you remember a good product description, okay, and write up will really help you sell your products, okay. And you can even put in more photos in your description, okay, to showcase your uh, item or uh, to explain more about your item. Okay, you can provide all this uh, about things like uh, how your product can be used, what are the functions, okay, how are the benefits to your customers in your product description, okay. And then, uh, there are product specification that you need to fill up also okay that to highlight all the important features of for example is it a moisturizing for the face okay what type of uh, a product or what type of a uh, fabric okay or sometimes in the description okay you can put in something like if you want an award for this product um uh maybe there's some testimonials from the customers that you really can uh, attract more customers to buy 
Okay, and after the description, there's a short description uh, place where you can highlight the key points. Okay, don't put everything, just the very short key points in there. And all if you need, right, all the missing things of the products will make very, people very confused about your product. So make sure you put uh, all the relevant things that you need put to put inside. Okay, so provided m providing more accurate product highlights allow your customers to understand the features the specs and the, how attractive and good the your product is to the customer okay so it will uh, all this will actually uh, highlight the best features of your product and convince the customer to buy from you Okay, so there are many, uh, it need to include many specifications that are more relevant to the product. Don't put non-relevant things inside. Okay, so uh, always state okay, why your customer should buy this product. For example, what are the benefits to this customer? Maybe you have uh, uh, some extra functions. Okay, and if you have product warranty, uh, will be the best. Because product warranty actually will, is a mandatory attribute that you need to fill whether you have warranty or not. Okay, so what category also you try to put in if, for example, if fashion, of course, you don't have warranty, but electricals you have. Okay, so you need to include the warranty period, okay, as optional attribute. So for things like uh, fashion, you just put no warranty. Okay, or well, what about what's in the box? Okay, you need to fill up what's in the box. Okay, after the description, which is the package content. Okay, what is inside your package what is the customer going to get okay so uh what for example if you're buying electronics are they going to get the charger are they going to get the user manual are they going to get uh, some extra cable something like that okay and uh in this particular what's in the box field right is actually important okay so that's why you need to ensure that whatever that you supply will match what is what is received by the customer so uh, make sure everything is listed down okay so inaccurate package content receive the customer they may complain okay and may be very upset and they want to return the product to you will affect your product okay ratings and all those number nine which is product dimension and rate which is important so when you scroll down you can see the um the weight and the product dimension in cm that you need to fill up okay so uh the the product okay if it's missing the uh package dimension or not accurate that you put in okay remember this is after packaging the item uh, not before okay after packaging the item you need to know the dimension and the, the length and everything in cm okay so this is the measurement of the package after you package it and before you ship out to the customer so you have a rough gauge of uh, what it is can you see the formula i've supplied here is the length times width times height divided by six thousand okay so um by providing all this right accurate dimension and weight so this will information will be supplied during shipping so that the courier will be charged correctly Okay, and then all these fees uh, will be calculated when also when the customer purchase a product. So customer will be paying the shipping fee if there's no uh, any free shipping voucher involved based on uh, the greater weight. For example, your volumetric is bigger than your actual, then you will be charged on volumetric weight. So if you like to learn more, please watch all the videos in uh, my YouTube channel, which I share and I help a lot of sellers become successful e-commerce entrepreneurs. Okay, so I think uh, that's the end of my training. So I hope that I have helped you. If you have uh, found this video useful, please help me by liking and subscribing to this YouTube channel. So, uh, so uh, remember, always start selling and don't be afraid to try everything. So that's it for me. Bye-bye.